Welcome to another edition of Fabric 5. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm the founder of Data on Wheels. And today we'll be talking about fabric business continuity around data. And specifically today is availability. I would recommend that you turn your closed captioning on in order to help understand me better, but I will be using an artificial voice for the second half of the presentation, so it should go well. I look forward to uh, having you all join us today. Let's get started. Protecting your data is important. Microsoft Fabric is built on Azure Storage. Azure Storage is a tried and true robust solution for maintaining highly available data. Azure Storage Services is the foundation on which Fabric is built. Azure Storage creates and maintains three copies of your data. Depending on what kind of redundancy you choose will determine where those copies are stored. With locally redundant storage, three copies are stored in the same data center in a region. This is commonly called LRS. Zone redundant storage, also known as ZRS, creates three copies in different data centers within the same region. This uses the availability zone functionality within Azure. Each of these data centers has separate power and networking in order to maintain uptime, even if an individual data center has an issue. This also protects you in the situation where supported infrastructure has an issue within the region. One of the great things about using this functionality is that it does not require user intervention and you would typically never know if anything happened. What does this mean for you with Fabric? Fabric One Lake is built on Azure Data Lake Gen 2, which is an extension of Blob Storage, which is built on Azure Storage Services. Because Fabric is built on the underlying infrastructure of a truly reliable and highly available storage solution in Azure, you get the benefit of this infrastructure by default and without any extra effort on your part. At the end of the day, you should be confident in the highly available storage of your data in Fabric because of Azure. One last thing to be aware of, you should make sure that you understand what region you store your data in. Fabric will use zone redundant storage by default if it is available in the region for Fabric. You will need to look at help online to determine what region you are in so you can make sure you understand what type of availability is currently available to you. I have shared links below related to these topics including what is available with Fabric. In the next Fabric 5, I will discuss disaster recovery options for your Fabric data. Like or subscribe if you enjoyed this session. Until next time, thank you for checking in.